When the pandemic hit, Srikanth Singamanini was already a step ahead with a solution for testing. His team at the McKelvey School of Engineering at Washington University in St. Louis had already created a technology platform for the detection of proteins present with diseases. It's a rapid, highly sensitive and highly accurate biosensor proven to detect low quantities of proteins related to various diseases. Easily adaptable to anything called immunoassays. Like the immunoassays is basically where you're using an antibody to capture a specific protein of interest, specific, specific biomolecule of interest. And with COVID-19, the National Science Foundation awarded his lab over $100,000 to advance the technology for SARS-CoV-2. Because this bio-labeling strategy is completely new that we have come up with, and uh, we are hoping that maybe this is, uh, COVID-19 is going to be the first um, disease for which we will be using this technology. It's based on an ultra-bright fluorescent nanoprobe called plasmonic fluor. It's composed of gold or silver nanoparticles increasing the brightness of fluorescent labels, serving as beacons. Brighter beacons mean fewer captured proteins are needed to determine their presence. All we are doing is replacing the current label with this brighter label so that you can detect at much lower concentrations and much quicker. In minutes rather than hours, it can be used in the fight against COVID-19 to test for antibodies and screen antibody levels in the plasma of possible donors. Plasma donations are used to treat patients hospitalized with COVID-19. Jeremiah Morrissey is a research professor with Washington University School of Medicine. His role is to greatly optimize conditions to detect antibodies. We're using recombinant viral proteins made in the lab as bait to capture antibodies that would be present in patient serum. Compared to conventional detection methods, the biosensor has nearly a 400-fold enhancement in sensitivity, detecting antibodies against a key structural protein of SARS-CoV-2 and a 70-fold enhancement against the receptor-binding domain of the coronavirus strain. And the team has been working towards improving sensitivity even more. The discoveries for antibody testing may then be used for rapid detection of COVID-19 infections. Using antibodies that actually detect these viral proteins, it could be possible to reverse the situation and use them to detect active virus. So in this particular case, we are not going after the antibodies, but we are actually looking for the proteins that make up this particular virus. Then in that particular case, antigen testing is, is going to be very powerful. Unfortunately, antigen testing traditionally has been a problem because most of the antigen tests are not as sensitive. Uh, but we are hoping to solve that problem, that is improve the sensitivity of these antigen tests. They are proving this highly sensitive technique has potential. The researchers say it's more specific, accurate, and much faster than current testing.